qualitative or dummy independent variables. Up until now, we have seen the models such as this, yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xt plus ut. We've seen the models in which these xt's, the independent variables, they were quantitative in nature. We've seen those x's where these variables were quantitative in nature. Say for example, anything, I mean, the, the kind of the different variables which we have seen is say education in years, we have seen uh, anything, say for example, income, age, okay, um, etc. Various quantitative variables. Now, point is that regression analysis could even tackle qualitative variables. What could be qualitative variables? Say for example, gender. You're male or female. So what number would actually denote whether you are a male or a female? Then race. Are you are are you a black or white? That's an other issue. For example, gender, race, color. Then for example, geography. Now, are you from northern India? Are you from southern India? Are you from western India? Are you from eastern India? All of these, these are qualitative variables. So, how do you encounter, how, how, how do you ensure that these variables are properly accounted for in your analysis, in your regression analysis? So, these variables, these are called, when, when you put some number to these variables, okay, those variables are called dummy variables. Uh, now, you have to understand one thing that right now we are basically concerned with binary dummy variables which could either take the form 0 or could take the form 1. So, for example, if you have the variable which is gender, that's a very classic example, it could be either male or female okay say for example if if quality is see this is a qualitative variable so if quality is being a female is a quality then in case of the quality is present you give the number 1 to it and in case of the quality is not present you give the number 0 to it so how do you ensure that how the, how is this working? So you'll have to visualize your Excel sheet, huh? And in the Excel sheet, you'll have the serial numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you'll have the names of the person. Okay, and whatever A B C D whatever, and you'll have the sex of the person, that is male or female or anything. So now you have to give number. To this gender, to this gender variable, to this sex variable, you have to give numbers. So, say for example, this is female, male, male, female, female, like this. So, your you have assumed the quality to be female, fine. So, and you've said this that in case of the person is female, you will denote it by one. So, female is one. In case of the person is male, the quality is absent and you'll denote it by zero. Similarly, in this case it is 0, in this case it is 1, in this case it is 1. So this is a dummy for gender, okay? This is your gender dummy. Are you guys getting it? So this is dummy variable and this is the way you will take up uh, the understanding of the dummy variables. So in case of the quality is present, then you say this is, uh, this is, uh, um, it, it will have a number one. In case of the quality is absent, then this will be um, uh, it, th this will have a variable zero. Okay. Now, for for the for the part for which the variable is zero, that is called control group. Okay. 
you're controlling this group this called this group is called control group and you'll compare all the results of the variables of these dummy variables with respect to this control group and i'll tell you how to interpret this are you getting this so this is called the control group so an other important thing is that the choice of this control group so whether you should make female as zero or male as zero that is choice of control group is arbitrary this is arbitrary it depends on you what do you want okay it could be anything fine so in the next recording we're going to talk about some examples of these variables